Hello, it's Spork and Kim back again. Our testing world has been getting a little chaotic. We got pigmen coming through the portal, zombies swimming in our pond, and even guardians flying around in the sky. It's ridiculous. Thankfully now though, using the execute and detect commands, we can do some quite interesting things, like solve our mob problem and keep everybody in their rightful place. We're not really suggesting you segregate your mobs. That would just be mean. But what we are doing here is demonstrating one of the fun things that you can do using the new execute detect command. So what we have done here is we have set up six miniature environments. And each of these environments has a, a specific mob type that is allowed to exist in it. If that mob wanders over the border into the next environment, it will automatically morph into the correct mob type for that environment. The zombie pigman's natural habitat is netherrack, but when he crosses into dirt, he becomes a witch. And when the witch crosses over onto stone, he becomes a skeleton. If we can get the skeleton to chase us on grass, he becomes a zombie. And then when the zombie crosses over into nether brick, he becomes a wither skeleton. And then in water, of course, he is a guardian. Alright, so over here is where it's run from. We've got a clock running here with our command blocks on it. We've got two command blocks, one either side, for each of our little miniature environments. We'll start off, we'll use the zombie pigman as an example of how it works. Basically, the execute command is looking for anything that is not a zombie pigman and has a minimum mob score of 1. We had to add this mob score because otherwise us as players would be detected as not being a zombie pigman. So we've got a clock running that gives everybody that isn't a player a minimum score of 1 to um, fix that. And it is looking to detect anything that is not a zombie pigman that is stood on netherrack. Uh, if it finds anything that is not a zombie pigman stood on netherrack, then it will summon a zombie pigman in its place. On the other side, what we have is the same check running so we're looking for anything that is not a zombie pig man and has a minimum mob score of 1. It's looking to detect that again on netherrack and if it finds anything that is not a zombie pig man it will teleport them off into the void and that gives the illusion of a mob turning into another mob. It basically summons one in its place and TPs the dodgy one out at the same time. So we hope you enjoyed this. We were just having a little fun with the new execute detect command. I'm sure some of the better YouTubers out there will come up with something far more interesting than what we've done. But uh, this was fun. If you want to see more of our videos, then hit subscribe. And if you want to keep up to date on any projects and bits and pieces we're doing, then follow us on Twitter. There's a link in the description. Thanks very much for watching, and we hope to see you next time.